Welcome to Training Tuesday for March 28th, 2023. We have three Bradley this week that are our learners, and this first one is Laurel. She came from Mark Goyer Reptiles. She is targeting out of her enclosure towards a scale, towards a station on a scale that I have set up. And we've been working on her learning that she can traverse this clear plexiglass door. The last several times we've done this, I have put something on the plexiglass for her to climb over. So this is the first time that she is making the journey over the plexiglass without anything to climb onto or over or any texture on it. She's doing quite well, and I'm watching her body language from head to tail so that I can ascertain just the appropriate moment to reinforce her. She's a little less outgoing than the next snake that you're going to see, Although she has done this complete behavior in the past, as I'm watching her behavior and body language, I see that she isn't likely to shift all the way out and position in a particular way on the scale station. I see her back end stop completely and anchor around the log in her enclosure, and I see her retreat and start to look around for the reinforcement. So I just ask her to stick with me for a few more seconds and to change direction and give me a substantial <clears throat> look at the target. And then I will signal her that we are done. And I mark the end of the behavior by changing the orientation of the target from vertical to horizontal. So that's what you're gonna see here. <clears throat> As I saw that she wasn't likely to go any further, so I asked her to just come to her left and then as soon as she does that, I decide that that's when I'm going to go ahead and reinforce her. So I mark the behavior and give her the reinforcement. I'm happy with this session just for the fact that she did traverse that plexiglass, which she's been hesitant to do in the past. Now this is Triangula. They're actually sisters, they're clutch mates. And Triangula is a little bit more outgoing. So she's climbing right out of her enclosure and onto the scale station without much hesitation. She takes her time and is cautious, but once she really gets engaged and her behavioral momentum builds up, she starts to move more quickly. And again, I'm watching her whole body, especially the back end of her body, because as I see that it's continuing to move in a forward direction, I know that she is likely to continue going further if I ask her to. And so I ask her to do a little bit more than I asked her sister Laurel. I ask her to move out of the other end of the scale station towards where I'm holding the target. And then I'm gonna ask her to curve around one of the legs of the scale station so that if I was actually weighing her, she would be completely on the scale. Now it doesn't matter if the tail is still in the enclosure because once she is anchored around the scale station, and I reinforce her, I can, I can move that away from the door and her tail will just slip out following her body. Right here, I see her start to hesitate and look for reinforcement. That's my clue that she's likely not gonna go any further. I mark the end of the behavior and deliver the reinforcement. So at this point, if I needed to scoot that away from her enclosure, it would be easy to do. This is Mrs. Peel and she was out hunting earlier and I had to go thaw her something. And by the time I thawed her something and came back, she had gone into her hide. So I knew that she was ready to eat and thought it would be really cool to get a in enclosure view of this training session. So she's targeting out of her hide. And that's really all I expect her to do now. And then I deliver her the reinforcement. And mainly I just thought this was a really cool observation, a really cool angle to see. So the next day what I did is I put the camera at the opposite end of her enclosure and got this shot of her basking. So she's got a full belly from her meal the night before and she's basking. And of course, the previous time I did this, she got reinforced. So now she's thinking, well, am I gonna get reinforced if I come towards the camera? <laughs> 